Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, welcome. Give it, bringing you a weekly reading for this new moon in Aquarius. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. For those who are returning, thank you so much. I've been really touched by the engagement, by your comments, by your emails. It means everything. And um, while we're on that topic, there was a comment uh, on the air reading. I left it up for a while, but then took it down because it was just so darn negative. But um, had the person just asked the question, I'd have been happy to answer as it was. It was just really negative, and we're not here for that. We're just not here for that. But uh, it was with regard to the elemental readings versus the individual zodiacs. So I thought I would give my version of what that's about. If I'm doing an individual reading for you, Aries, just like a fisherman, I've got a rod and I'm pulling in a fish. If I do a reading for elemental fire, Aries Leo Sag, I'm casting a net. The likelihood is I'm going to catch more fish. So all of us here on YouTube as readers are reading for the general collective. It won't resonate with everyone every time. But I personally find the elemental readings can be more powerful because it taps into the most powerful storyline across the element. It also means it's speaking to your rising sign, your Venus sign, and your moon sign as well. So for example, I'm a Virgo. I can watch a Virgo reading or I can watch an Earth reading. The odds are I may find better answers in an Earth reading. It's just the way it works. Also, I have two planets in Leo, so I prefer to watch fire readings, and those tend to be way more on target for me because I have more of the fire element in my chart. So that's my explanation. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. You don't have to agree, but um, I'm hoping you'll give it a chance, and then if this message that comes through here for you, fire, isn't your message, check out the other readings for your other personal planets, your rising Venus and moon, okay? All right, so pulling card for divine masculine, divine feminine from moonology. This new moon in Aquarius, oh, interesting, is... Um, it's lovely. It's the end of the eclipse season. Divine masculine gets... A time to give rather than take. Strong message there. That's new moon in Virgo represents this card. A little more emphasis on the give. Divine masculine, just saying. And for divine feminine, meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Beautiful energy there. Um, yeah, pull back a little bit maybe, divine feminine. Take some time to contemplate all that's gone down recently where this new moon is closing out the eclipse season we just went through, which was pretty brutal. At least it was for me. So it's the first new moon of this first of this new year, and it's in Aquarius, which is more geared toward the collective. Um, very visionary energy, and it's also square Uranus, and all that's about is expecting the unexpected. Uranus is about surprises, the unexpected. So there can be a little bit of anxiety for many of us here when when Uranus is on the scene because we don't know what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. So if something should shift, if there should be a change, um, just go with the flow. Meditate and contemplate. <laughs> <laughs> don't resist is all I'm trying to say and this too shall pass but it's a good new moon to set intentions um, that include something other than our own like what we want for ourselves so be a little bit aware of what it is you're trying to create in the world you know what are you trying to bring what parts what gifts of yours are you trying to bring to the collective and set intentions around that just one or two. The rest can be all for you. All right, fire sign. Let's see what we've got going here. Energy underneath the, yes, laying down a burden. This is the end of a cycle that was burdensome. Some kind of um, energy that was just too much to bear. Lessons completed, laid it down, moving on. For those who are new, this top row represents 
your divine counterpart, unless you're a cross watcher. This could be your energy. Whoa. And fire sign, this second row represents you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? And then the bottom row is the connection. In the extended, I will pull cards from this same deck. Messages to you from your higher self. Could be your spiritual team, universe, right? Um, a message to you, fire sign from your divine counterpart, and a message from you to them, as well as an outcome card. If timing is an issue, it would show up there. Whoa. So let me just tell you what I see here. First of all, something definitely ended, burdensome cycles done. That's the energy that's underneath. So I'm feeling some newness here. This Whoever this divine counterpart is coming through is Ace of Swords. That would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Here's some Sagittarian energy in the temperance. Patience balancing the energies and moving toward. This is like a flash of insight, of wisdom, of knowledge. Some divine gift of information, knowledge, wisdom, insight that's coming in for this person right now. And look what they're moving toward in the future. Wow. And for you here, fire sign. And just so you know, if you're new, I'm going to say it. Feel free to flip the energies. If you feel this is you up top and your divine counterpart here, that's fine. Just flip the energies. Doesn't make the reading wrong. Um, for you, dear, dear, dear fire sign coming through as the world endings and new beginnings. That's Aquarius and Capricorn. So I definitely feel this is for you. Um, in the healing in the past, star energy. Also hope and trust in the faith, which is, hope and trust in the faith. Hope, trust, and faith in the universe to provide, to have your back, and that's why you're stepping forward in that, yep, end of a cycle, boom, that's done, new beginning, fresh new start, very hopeful, and man, you're moving forward fast. This feels like you got some knowledge, you understand what's going on here, and you're going to move toward it very quickly. The swords is the Knight of Swords is a card of victory, so I say that, but it can get out over its skis a bit. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. Um, in the connection here, in the past, there was a conflict. I think something was either cut out or this Queen of Swords energy. I feel almost as if um, if you're dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, Fire sign. This is their energy coming forward, possibly with um, a little detached, maybe a little cool. Uh, coming from their mental energy and asking a lot of questions, very focused on character, honesty, truth. So there could be something that needed to be resolved here so we can push this misunderstanding or whatever this burden was out of the way. That's what I'm feeling. I do feel whoever this is really worked hard to balance the energies, really worked hard to transmute a misunderstanding. It does feel like a misunderstanding to me, because we have this five of, of wands, which is conflict, and it can be from outside sources. So if you guys can are getting twisted by things other people are saying or, you know, whatever, mm -mm, no bueno, done with that. And in the future, moving towards a six of pentacles, very balanced, very fair, good energy, definitely balance the energies. I like looking at this, balancing the energies, end of painful chapter, not even painful, just a burdensome like a bumpy patch. You hit a bumpy patch in the road. New beginning, balance, fairness, reciprocity, equal give and take. Moving from this conflict all the way up to the Ten of Cups. Love it. Okay. Ten of Wands. Underlying energy. Burden is done. Lesson learned. Not going back. Right? This is this card. Divine Feminine, meditate, contemplate, Four of Swords. It is about healing. There is healing here. I do feel it's on the part of you. Um, fire sign. You may not be the Divine Feminine. You may be, but you're the one healing here unless the energies are reversed. Temperance. I did mention this is Sagittarius. Yes, there was a lot of overwhelm, 
emotion. There was a lot of confusion here. I do feel it was a communication misfire. I really do. We had that also in the water reading. So if you fire are dealing with a water sign, uh, which is possible, go check that reading. But lots of emotional, overwhelming confusion, and I feel it was with regard to communication. This is also air, air is communication. Ace of Swords in the present energy for this divine counterpart, please. Ah. Wow. Yeah, insight comes in about something they didn't know, something they couldn't see, something that was hidden from, from their understanding, right? Causing a little fear, but right in the nick of time, the universe steps in, spirit steps in, gives this gift of insight. Four of Wands, Twin Flame Soulmate, right here. Life Partnership, this is a marriage card, just going to say it, uh, also came out in that water reading. And, you know, the moon is Pisces, so there we, there we have that. Yeah. This person knows what they're dealing with. This person knows the power of this connection, shifting right into Ten of Cups. I mean, just look at this card. Look at this couple and the kids dancing and everybody's happy. This is Nirvana, guys. This is um, the card of Happily Ever After. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Eight of Cups, and yeah, walking away from this, definitely walking away from something that just didn't serve, right? And end of this sort of, oh, on my last ropes, how much more, I can't push through much more. Yeah, whoever, whoever this person is, put the emotional discontent behind them walked away from this struggle moving well they're walking away from the struggle is what i'm what i mean to say ten of cups and king of pentacles very grounded this person is playing for keeps they want stability their high vibration stability doing very well for themselves really ready to settle down that's the energy i feel like I said, can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. It could be just somebody who's ready for that kind of life, ready for something stable, grounded, settled down, you know, white picket fence, two cars in the driveway, um, definitely walking away from some emotional drama that had them at, up against the ropes. That's what they're walking away from. Moving toward this Ten of Cups beautiful energy star here for fire sign in the past <sighs> star is is aquarius by the way four of cups yes to the ace of cups so i feel that they were they were rejected or felt rejected they you were rejected or felt rejected four of cups into ace of cups either that or he yeah no that's exactly what i think it is i think there was a period of healing here some aspect of the connection was um not evolved it was like there was stuck energy one of you may have felt more felt more deeply in the connection than the other. I think it might be you fire sign. Here we have this Ace of Cups. So I kind of feel like what you were holding out for was the Ace of Cups and then it arrives. And that helps you in your healing. End of a bad cycle. Put it away. New beginnings. New cup of love. The world here for fire sign. Nope. That's what I wanted. There's Leo. Yep. 
Spirit likes to play. World on world. Yeah, I said. Endings and new beginnings. That's what we have here. With a lot of perseverance. I mean, you got to have courage to face a new day, right? And this is the card of Leo. It's also the card of helping each other out. You may help each other through this or receive some help from this fire sign. This, this figure is taming the beast and the beast in, in return protects her. Um, she's not, she has no fear, no fear. This is a fear free zone. Endings and new beginnings again. So I sort of feel that's just confirmation. Confirmation here. And now the Knight of Swords victory. Almost, I feel like you can't move forward fast enough here, fire sign. Wow, definitely could be a, it definitely can be an earth sign. We've got um, nine of pentacles, six of pentacles, and the emperor. So nine of pentacles, I mean, nine of pentacles shows up as a, is a figure of a woman, but the whole point of the energy is it's someone who's single and unattached, but very grounded, able to take care of themselves, very much an attractor kind of a person. Someone just attracts good things to themselves, um, sets sets intentions and then just releases it to the universe you know and things just happen so if you're dealing with someone who's got that kind of energy that's who they are moving toward them very swiftly you are and that brings a sense of balance fairness equal give and take i feel that was probably missing before it's very grounded very charitable I like that because it follows this strength card. So I feel that it provides a sense of stability for you, uh, fire sign that was missing. And here we come with Aries in the emperor. Things feel much more under control. This is the energy of the divine masculine. So I, I do feel that if you're not dealing with an earth sign here, fire sign, you are dealing with somebody who's very, very grounded, very much in their king of pentacles. Um, Someone who to tolerates no drama isn't isn't dramatic. Make a mental note of that. They're not dramatic. They're all about balancing out the energies. They don't like this space here at all. They don't like the emotional overwhelm. But now we got this five of wands. Why is the five of wands here in the past for this connection? the conflict here oh wow high priestess on the bottom that's i like to check this it's sort of your unconscious motivation here it's stuff that may be going on behind the scenes or out of your awareness or that you're not really clued into but i think in the past what happened was uh there were there was some outside interference here some conflict between the two parties wherever it came from it just kicked up and you both pulled back four of pentacles this is a self a card of almost like holding on like afraid to lose your assets in a way but i feel like in this case it was more emotional um definitely pulling back in a very 3d way um this is what the conflict was about. Could be third party situation. Doesn't have to be, but I just feel like there was fear here. The, the four of pentacles is a pulling back and a protection mode, fearing a broken heart, fearing getting your heart broken. Both of you, therefore, shifting into high priestess here. This is being secretive about your feelings, not really sharing how you feel, maybe not even communicating at all. The high priestess doesn't really talk much, right? The high priestess takes everything in. That's why I named the channel Awakened Priestess. It's like, oh, I get it. I'm going to watch with my eyes. I'm going to take in things that other people might not see. I'm going to listen for what other people might not hear. I'm going to take everything in as data. And then I'm going to connect with my higher self and my spiritual team before I take my next step. That's the energy of the high priestess. As a result, she doesn't really talk much, right? She's more inner. It's her inner knowing. She's going by intuition, her inner knowing. So I kind of feel like you may have hit a, a, a period 
of no communication or very little communication. You had a conflict. You both pulled back, fearful of getting your heart broken. And then we're in the Queen of Swords energy right now. It's about the truth. The Queen of Swords is a truth teller and a truth seeker. Wants the truth, but is willing to share the truth right up front. Doesn't suffer fools. Mm-hmm. Manifesting. Wow. Well, whatever's going on in the connection right now, it is about your ships coming in. I feel, I feel you've asked, you're asking each other all the questions you need answered to feel ready to receive the other. That's what the three of wands is about. Next, we have the Queen of Cups, high vibration love. So we kind of shift here. We shift. We're, 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 we're manifesting emotional availability, emotional comfort with one another, feeling safe with one another, holding space for one another. But we started here with a, let's have a chat, shall we? Kind of all in our headspace, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, all very much like, let's just hammer this out. And I feel like now there's been a shift, a, 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 a moving toward, like a turning your back on that part of it and shifting into this Queen of Cups energy, emotional availability, sensitivity, compassion toward the other. And yet there's still a little bit of, now you've, now, well, no, this is a going within card too. Just like the High Priestess, a little different though. It's about it's, this is a card of the sage, learning about ourself, really doing the inner work. So I sort of feel like even though the hermit card of Virgo can be very um, solitary energy, I almost feel like once you have your questions answered with each other, you're ready to manifest this emotional availability, but you're still doing the work. You're each doing your own. There's this, this is growth here. This is about growth. This can also be a teacher or a guide you may be a guide for one another guiding each other in this part of the journey really growing i feel like growth is key here and then we've got the six of pentacles this is the second time we see the six of pentacles in this future spot so i know that this balance and fairness and equal give and take is very important very charitable energy you may even work together on a charity or a project that benefits those in need. I'm only saying that because I see King of Pentacles, Six and Nine of Pentacles, and Six of Pentacles again. With the Emperor here, there's, there's some um, leadership there. And now with this Hermit, I, I just feel almost like for some of you, for very few of you, but for some of you, that may be the case where you actually work on a project together that benefits people in need. Now, in the future, some information comes in. Page of, page of Swords, it can be um, I Spy, but in this case, that's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like in the future, this balance, this, this grounded, even, balanced, fair, generous energy comes through, and it's just refreshing. It's refreshing. This page of swords, the pages are our messengers. So I feel that whatever the communication is between you is, is new and refreshing and moves things forward. This is the wheel of fortune. It moves things forward. It gets you out of that stuck energy you had before. That four of cups, that, that five of wands, all stuck energy. Some big massive insight comes in, moves this whole thing forward. Um... I'm really excited for you here, Fire Sign. This is a lovely reading. As I said in the extended, I'll look at messages from your higher self, your spiritual team, um, universe, whatever you like to call it, a message to you, an energetic message to you from this person, one from you to them, and the outcome card. We'll see where this takes us. If this is a storyline that's speaking to you, the link to the extended is below. I will see you there. Otherwise, have a wonderful new moon in Aquarius. Set those intentions, and I'll see you on a future video soon. Take care. Bye, fire sign.